My brother thinks that anyone who hasn't been to war isn't a man. He treats me as if I'm a spoiled child. Oh, and you're not. Loris Perel, the Knight of the Flowers. How many wars have you fought in? Oh, and how much did your father spend on that armor of yours? When I ever hear from Robert and Stannis, it's all not tough enough. Robert threatening to take me hunting with him. Last time we were out there for two weeks, also he could stick his fear into something flesh. But, Robert loves his killing, and he's the king. Hmm, how did that ever end up? Because, he loves his killing, and he used to be good at it. Do you know who should be king? My father could be your bank. I never fought in a war before, but I fight for you. I'm fourth in line. But where was Robert in the royal line of succession? Geoffrey is a monster. Common is eight. Stannis. Stannis has the personality of a lobster. He's still my older brother. What are you doing? Just blood. We've all got it in us. Sometimes a little spill. If you ever hope to become king, you're going to see a lot of this. You better get used to it. Go on. Look. People love you. You're willing to do what needs to be done. But you don't gloat over it. You don't love. Killing. Where is it written that thrones are only made for the hated and feared? You would be a wonderful king. I never loved my brothers. Horrible thing for a man to admit, but it's true. You were the brother I chose. I hereby command Eddard of House Stark to serve as Lord Regent upon my death, to rule in my stead until my son Joffrey comes of age. He named you Protector of the Realm. She won't care. Give me an hour, and I can put a hundred swords at your command. And what should I do with a hundred swords? Strike! Tonight, while the castle sleeps! We must get Joffrey away from his mother and into our custody. He who holds the king, holds the kingdom. By the time Robert dies, it'll be too late for the both of us. What about Stannis? Saving the Seven Kingdoms from Cersei and delivering them to Stannis. You have odd notions about protecting the realm. Stannis is your older brother. This isn't about the bloody line of succession. That didn't matter when you and Robert rebelled against the Mad King. It shouldn't matter now. We all know what Stannis is. He inspires no love or loyalty. He's not a king. I am. Stannis is a proven and tested battle commander. He's led men into war twice. Yes, he's a good soldier. Everyone knows that. So was Robert. Do you still believe good soldiers make good kings? I will not dishonor Robert's final hours by shedding blood in his halls or dragging frightened children from their beds. You will sail to Dragonstone tonight. You will place this in the hand of Stannis Baratheon. The king has no trueborn sons. Joffrey and Tommen 
are Jamie Lannister's bastards. So, when the king dies, the throne passes to his brother, Lord Stannis. So it would seem... Unless... There is no unless. Stannis is the rightful heir. Nothing can change that. You'd be wise to deny it to him, and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Make peace with the Lannisters. We've plenty of time to get rid of Stannis. And if Joffrey seems likely to cause problems, we simply reveal his little secret and seek Lord Renly there instead. Make peace with the Lannisters, you say? With the people who try to murder my son? We only make peace with our enemies. That's why it's called making peace. No, I won't do it. So it will be Stannis and war. There is no other choice. He is the heir. Lord Stark has been charged with treason. They say he conspired with Robert's brothers to deny the throne to Prince Joffrey. He said I wasn't the king. Why did he say that? They must have lied to him. Lord Renly or Lord Stannis or somebody. They must have lied. Sansa came to court this morning to plead for your life. On her knees begging for me. Did you know your son is marching south? with an army of Northmen. Loyal lad, fighting for his father's freedom. Rob, he's just a boy. Boys have been conquerors before. But the man giving Cersei sleepless nights is the king's... the late king's brother. Lord Stannis has the best claim to the throne. He is a proven battle commander, and he is utterly without mercy. Stannis Baratheon is Robert's true heir. The throne is his by right. Sansa pleaded so sweetly for your life. It would be a shame for you to throw it away. You want me to serve the woman who murdered my king, who butchered my men, who crippled my son! I want you to serve the realm! Cersei knows you as a man of honor. If you give her the peace she needs, and promise to carry her secret to your grave, I believe she will allow you to take the black and live out your days on the wall. You think my life is some precious thing to me. I learned how to die a long time ago. What of your daughter's life, my lord? Is that a precious thing to you? Joffrey Baratheon is the one true heir to the Iron Throne. My mother wishes me to let Lord Ella join the Night's Watch. And my lady Sansa has begged mercy for her father. But they are the soft hearts of women. So long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. Bring me his head! No! The proper course is clear. Pledge fealty to King Renly and move south to join our forces with his. Renly is not the king. You cannot mean to hold to Joffrey, my lord. He put your father to death. That doesn't make Renly king. He's Robert's youngest brother. Bran can't be lord of Winterfell before me, 
That means Renly can't be king before Stannis. Do you mean to declare us for Stannis? Renly is not right. My lord! Here's what I say to these two kings. <laughs> Renly Baratheon is nothing to me, nor Stannis neither. Why should they rule over me and mine from some flowery seat in the south? Why shouldn't we rule ourselves again? It was the dragons we bowed to, and now the dragons are dead! There sits the only king I mean to bend my knee to. The king in the north! I'll have peace on those terms. They can keep their red castle and their iron chair too. The king in the north! The king in the north! They have my son. Dark boy appears to be less green than we hoped. Is it true what they say about Stannis and Renly? Both Baratheon brothers have taken up against us. Jaime captured, his army scattered, the catastrophe! You were right about Eddard Stark. If he were alive, we could have used him to broker a peace with Winterfell and Riveron which would have given us more time to deal with Robert's brothers. I always thought you were a stunted fool. Perhaps I was wrong. Half wrong. I knew to strategy. But unless we want to be surrounded by three armies... It appears we can't stay here.